All right, welcome back everyone, tea eaters and Bethelers. Um, I am going to go over a handful of things that I did not get to in my last video and also a promo that was done just the other day that I really enjoyed. And then after that, I should be able to get to the asks. I'm still running a little bit behind on those. So um, I have a list of a handful of things that I didn't quite get to. And these are things that my fellow theorists and I just kind of have talked about more since uh, the finale of Daryl Dixon season two aired. So some of these I did talk about in my videos, but if I'm talking about them again, it's because I'm kind of expanding on them. Um, so let's actually go with the, let, let me talk about the promo that they did the other day first. So they, the one of the official TWD accounts put out a promo and it shows a pic, like a wanted poster or like a missing poster of Quadron. And we really like that. <laughs> Why? Because something very, very similar was done for Beth between season four and five. So there's a couple of things here. I talked about how Kodron just sort of freaked out and ran away because he was having a hallucination of his brother and Daryl and Carol don't know where he went. And I was thinking that Kodron would not be in it anymore after this season, you know, kind of like Falu. I'm pretty sure the reason Falu stayed is because he's not going to be part of the story anymore. Um, but it, they definitely left Kodron open, so it seems to me like we'll see him again. Now, we definitely have, from the trailer for Daryl Dixon Season 3, there's definitely a Western theme going on. And we really like that because um, we've seen it other places. You know, Beth has a Western theme. She wore cowboy boots. All the things. But this poster, this wanted poster, it, it really looks like an Old West wanted poster, but it says that he's missing. Um, understand that... They did not do any kind of missing campaign for Beth after Coda. It was specifically after season four when the Gradians, Grady Bunch, uh, took her from Daryl at the um, funeral home, right? And then what happened, I had to look it up and see if I could find the source. There was an article, which I will link in the show notes here, um, that talked about this. And there was a milk carton that they put... Beth's picture on that said missing. Have you seen Beth Green? Missing since season four, episode 13. Last seen with Daryl Dixon outside funeral home wearing dirty yellow polo shirt at time of disappearance. Tips contact Daryl Dixon container A at Terminus. So I mean, it's kind of funny and it's meant to be kind of lighthearted. But the thing is, I, I don't think the picture, the, um, the milk carton itself was something that was put out by, you know, official TWD channels. However, I'm pretty sure that the, the picture, the graphic was created by the woman who wrote the article. That's why it says Amanda TV Scoop, you know, as a handle on the picture. And the woman who wrote the article, her name is Amanda. But this is one of those articles on one of those websites that we're pretty sure are um, completely monitored and even given information by the powers that be. So at the very least... Gimple, who was the main showrunner at the time, would have approved it, right? So to me, it's not officially official, if you will, but it's pretty darn close, okay? And so it's interesting now that they're doing the same thing with Kodron, especially because he is a serious character. He has lost his eye. Um, and so we were always equating that with Beth. Now, one of the things that I wrote down that I didn't talk about too much in my original video is the fact that as Kodron and Falu are going into the hospital, Kodron has this, um, uh, this line about love at first sight. And it's just everything taken together that's really suspicious. I mean, the first time we saw Kodron, he was pretty much a villain, or at least an antagonist. I mean, him and Daryl beat the snot out of each other the first time that they met, right? And then slowly, he's he's kind of become redeemed as we realize that he didn't actually like Janae as much as um, we thought he did, and, and all of that. So he had a, he had a cool arc. Um, but at the same time, what are the chances this is a guy who believes in love at first sight? You know what I mean? And, and I'm not even saying he does. He was kind of teasing Falu when he said that. But we have him saying this love at first sight line as they're going into a hospital setting, which we determined had really no relevance to the plot. And everything that happened in there could have happened somewhere else. Like they put the hospital in, but it wasn't totally necessary. Um, this is when we see the blonde walker in the wheelchair, which is a complete replay of what we saw in the governor's episode in 406, I think. Um, and that was a 
really obvious foreshadow of Grady, right? And then, of course, the love at first sight thing ended up being true, and that led to Felu's relationship and the handhold, which was an obvious mirror of the one in Alone. And we had Daryl looking back at that, you know, from the tunnel. And it's just like everything together. <laughs> this cannot all be a coincidence, right? And now they're doing this missing promo for um, Kodron, which is another way of saying that we'll see him again in season three, I'm assuming. But again, um, just to reiterate, this was not done for Beth after Coda, okay? There hasn't been anything like this after Coda because they do want us to think that she's dead. But what I would say is that the way that Kodron and Beth's um, arcs are mirroring each other, he is in his arc at the place that Beth was when she was taken from Daryl at the funeral home. So if you just look at the um, the way that they line up, all right? Beth and Daryl went into the funeral home and walkers got in and therefore they had to run. And then, you know, obviously the Grady cops took her and they got split up. Here we have um, Kodron and Daryl, among other people, going into the dark tunnel and things happen, things go wrong. They're fighting walkers and then Kodron runs away and they get split up and they don't know, you know, Daryl doesn't know where Kodron is. Granted, it's a little different. He was not running after Kodron all night screaming his name. Totally different relationship there. But you see what I mean? Like, uh, this just shows that at some point they're going to find Kodron again. Um, but it's just a way to parallel Beth and Kodron and I just really like that because um it, it just is another thing that shows we're right about everything that their two arcs are being paralleled and then we can look at Kodron and see parallels to Beth um so it'll be really interesting to see where they go with his character in season three um so I just wanted to point that out I really like that missing promo um, it's really fun and it makes me excited for season three <laughs> let's just put it that way all right so that's the first thing um the next thing, okay, let's talk about, um, I did discuss in my original video um, the fact that Daryl found the guitar for Laurent and all the ways that that is like Beth. I mean, she was playing a guitar last time we saw her. There's um, the fact that he found it in the trunk of a car, all of that. So Galadriel Jones had a really interesting take on this, and I really like it because I hadn't quite entangled the symbols in exactly this way in my mind before. So I'm just going to read you what she said. The strings were an interesting mention to me. So maybe I should tell you, what, <laughs> first of all, what they said. It was just that Daryl um, handed Laurent the guitar and said he did what he could with the strings, which... Uh, probably implies that the strings were broken and he did his best to fix them or retie them and they're probably not going to be perfect, which is kind of funny because obviously on the guitar that Laurent was playing, they were fine. <laughs> but um, that just goes to show that it was intentional, that dialogue that was put in. So um, anyway, back to this quote. The strings were an interesting mention to me. It reminded me a little of how he fixed the gears in the music box. Both are musical machines, which were broken, and he fixed them. Daryl's good at fixing things. It's a hallmark of his character, metaphorically and literally. I want to see how this applies to Beth. She is the one who fixed him at the moonlight, Moonshine Shack. Do we ever see him fix her? We do see him give his blood to Judith. I'm wondering if this will come into play somehow with Beth, him fixing her. It could be emotional. I think it would be really interesting if when she comes back, Beth is not who she was. I don't mean she's evil. I just mean maybe she's lost her faith as Daryl has found his and he has to fix her the same way she fixed him so many years ago. And my reply to this was just that I really like that idea of him fixing the guitar just so that it can keep singing, as it were. And I agree about the idea of him fixing her in an emotional way. I think this is why people hang on to the idea of her having memory problems. I don't know if that's what they'll do. But if he helped her remember, it would be another way to fix her. Um, you know, that sort of thing. So I, I just kind of wanted to expound on that a little bit because, you know, we, we have a, for a long time, TD has thought that, uh, the music box and him fixing the music box because so obviously the music box was a symbol of Beth that he would fix her in some way. And in this case, we have the musical instrument, which is being taken out of the trunk of a car, and he fixed it and gave it to Laurent. And now it's playing music again. You see what I mean? So I had very specifically not, you know, linked the two things in my mind of the trunk and something needed, needing to be fixed. And then there's the fact that the last instrument we saw Beth playing was guitar. And 
that was, you know, during Tyrese's hallucination. But at that point, she had been shot. So you could argue that she was already, quote unquote, broken, right? Um, I think that this is another mirror of the bringing something back to life theme. Um, once again, remember that in Strangers, they found a battery with just a little bit of juice in it in the car, Carol and Daryl did, and Carol used that battery charger to bring the car back to life, and she pulled that out of the trunk of the car. So we've, we've seen this a lot, and it's just really, really interesting that they did this with the guitar. Now, just as a last thing to touch on there, in the preview for season three, which we've only gotten a, a small kind of teaser preview, um, there's a shot of somebody riding a horse and we're only getting him from behind. It looks a lot like Norman. Like we have literally been discussing a lot whether or not that is Norman, <laughs> whether or not that is Daryl or not. Um, it does look like him, but we can't see his face. So we can't say for sure that it's him. But the interesting thing, there's a couple of things that make me really happy about this. Um, number one, he is carrying a, a guitar and it's a little bit hard to see, but if you look to the left, I've circled it in this picture, um, you can see the frets. So this person is carrying a guitar. And my first question was, okay, what happened to Laurent's guitar? Is this Laurent's guitar? Did Daryl take it with him? But W.D. Way went back and looked at the final um, couple of episodes, you know, of season two, and Laurent did have his guitar in the plane. So this is not Laurent's guitar. It's a different one. Um, I don't know why Daryl would be carrying somebody else's guitar at this point, but Gladriel Jones pointed out that if it's a different guitar, then we have a very sustained um symbol of this guitar that they keep bringing back into the show. And again, it might not be Daryl, you know, when we're talking about practicality in the plot, maybe this is just someone who looks a lot like him from behind. It could be somebody else. The other reason that I really like this, and this is kind of going on to a different tangent, but um, he's this person, whoever it is, is riding his horse along a pair of train tracks. Now, I, I guess it's, it's not entirely a tangent. It is still related to the guitar. I am always, always, always griping about how in 509, which was Tyrese's death, right? And that death hallucination, which included Beth. Not only was she playing the guitar, but it kept having this um, shot where it looked like the camera is moving along some train tracks and the train tracks disappear into the woods. It showed that like four or five different times throughout the episode. And yeah, I mean, they re repeated quite a few shots. That's what makes it so kind of abstract and interesting of an episode. But this is one of the shots that they repeated. So we have Beth, musical person, who often wore cowboy boots, so we have the Western theme, playing the guitar, and then we keep having this shot of the train tracks going into the woods. And so that's why, and a lot of times it seemed like they were right next to each other. It would show Beth, and then it would show the train tracks, and then it would show a bunch of other stuff. And then later it would show Beth, and it would show the train tracks. You know what I mean? It felt like they were really trying to entangle those two things. So I've always thought that the train tracks just represented her... Um, her path, which was going to be different than team families. I mean, we've also pointed out that in season four, everybody ended up at Terminus except her. So it's almost like you could say everybody crossed over the tracks, everybody ended up there. She maybe kept following the tracks farther to a different place, and that's why her path diverged from theirs. And it's just different ways to interpret symbolism. But anyway, my point is that now in this preview for season three and we have no idea what's going on in this you know contextually in this scene but we have someone who looks like a cowboy he's wearing a cowboy hat he's riding a horse so there's a western theme he's carrying a guitar and he's riding his horse along some train tracks i mean guys <laughs> i have never seen a more on the nose callback to 509 than that and specifically to beth because she was the one playing the guitar so all i'm saying is that we're already seeing the symbolism project into season three and that makes me happy okay um, I think the last thing I really need to talk about is, um, remember how in my video I talked about how when, just before Carol sees Sophia, she's fighting some walkers and, um, there's one that looks like Beth and it's like it is Beth and then it's not and it kind of alternates and I wasn't really sure, um, what we were supposed to glean from that, but it was super interesting. Well, W.D. Way had some insights, so I'm just going to read you what she sent me. She says, as I was listening to you, it hit me that the reason Carol's battling in that particular scene with a walker that might be representing Beth is I think Carol has guilt about the children she lost, but also feels guilty that she lived, that she walked out of Grady and Beth didn't. With all Carol's guilt and all the things she's done, um, she's still alive, but Beth, she believes, is not. 
I think especially knowing that her dear friend Daryl, how he mourned Beth, how he's never quite been the same since Beth's death or what they perceived as her death. And it occurred to me that maybe this is why she keeps pushing Connie on Daryl. Carol would find comfort if she could believe that Daryl was happy and he had found someone else other than Beth, who again, she thinks is dead, and could make a life with them. That would ease Carol's guilt for living while Beth died. Just my thoughts as I was listening to you talk about that. So yeah, I think that's really, really good insight. Um, and especially, yeah, given that she she seems to be a little bit playing matchmaker for Daryl. You know, we've, we've seen that for the last few seasons. And um, she did, I believe, she did mention Connie again when she talked about going home. Don't you want to get back to Judith and, and RJ? And I think she mentioned Connie, too. So clearly she's still up to it, but it's it's less about her particularly wanting him to be with Connie and more just about her wanting him to find happiness. So thank you for that, um, W.D. Way. That, that's really, really insightful. Um, the only other notes that I have that I haven't gone over yet are just things that I wrote down from the trailer for season three. There's a shot of Daryl riding on his motorcycle or a motorcycle, I guess I should say, across the desert, and he's wearing a black bandana. That's actually a callback to season four. Remember when he was digging the graves? There's a, a lot made of the fact that he was wearing that bandana back then, and it was just a big symbol. Um, so, I mean, we could go into the symbolism of the black bandana. I know that he was using it to dig graves after people had died at the prison, so there, there is a death um, symbolism around that. But overall, I'm just calling it a callback to season four for right now. Um, oh, I did make a note that, um, at the very end of the final episode of the flagship show, Connie did make some comment about Daryl being a cowboy. I think she said, welcome back cowboy. And she said something about the frontier as well. So this is, uh, this is a little out of order. I should have put this back with the, um, <laughs> when I talked about the Western theme, but this is another reason we think the person on the horse might be Daryl is that there does seem to be some foreshadowing about him having some sort of Western cowboy arc. And honestly, it could just be what he's doing now. I mean, you could say that he went out to search for other frontiers or, or whatever. You know, a frontier is just kind of the wild that isn't settled. And that's kind of what he's doing. Um, not only heading out from Alexandria at the end of the flagship show, but just being in Europe and, and going all these places. So anyway, just a small thing, just to say that the Western theme has been foreshadowed. So there's that as well. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I will try to come back again before the end of the week and do some asks for you. Talk to you soon.